My name is Glenn North. I am the Director of Inclusive Learning and Creative Impact at the Kansas City Museum. And one of my favorite spaces in the museum is this alcove. I was a poet before I became a museum professional, and I've always tried to connect poetry to the work that I do. And so Anna Marie Tutera, our executive director, as uh, the team was developing content, felt that it would be important to weave in poetry and, and fine art and visual art to help tell this story about Kansas City's history. Uh, this poem in particular was written by Tahimba Jess, who uh, won the Pulitzer Prize for his book, Olio, that looks at uh, the history of African-American entertainers uh, shortly after the Civil War, one of which was a great ragtime piano player who was from here in Missouri, and his name was Blind Boone. The other interesting connection with this poem is there's this tree metaphor that is um, extended throughout the poem. And R.A. Long, uh, the owner of Corinthian Hall, which is now the home of the Kansas City Museum, was the lumber baron. The other cool thing is that the excerpt of this poem is in conversation with this great photograph called Nest of Limbs by Jason Piggy, who is a local photographer that I had the great fortune of going uh, to college with. So this space and the conversation that's taking place here is one that really uh, provides me with a lot of pleasure as I'm going through the day. And um, poems should be read and heard aloud. So I'll just share uh, this snippet of Blind Boone's Vision by Tahim Bajess. I am of the light and shade of my tree. Now ask me how tall that tree of mine has grown to be after all this time it touches a place between heaven and here. And I shudder when I hear the winds, and I shudder when I hear the earth's wind in my bones through the bones of that boxed up swarm of wood. Bird and bee, I let it loose and beyond me. And so I think that the other um, bonus is that when we tie in visual art, when we tie in poetry, the story that we're telling takes on even more of an emotional resonance. And I think that's really important in terms of developing a love for history. So yeah, this is one of my favorite spaces in the museum.